Hello again, this is uh, Captain Galen Johnson out of Robbie's Marina with Real Sharp Charters. Um, today I'm going to show you guys the proper way of reeling a, uh, rigging up a ballyhoo. There's two different ways uh, that are, uh, there's many different ways. I'm going to show you two easy ways to rig it up. One is with a lead and one is without a lead. And the one with the lead is to make that ballyhoo go deeper into the water and without a without a lead is so he skips on the top of the surface but this is with the lead and if you notice i'm using a regular 80 dolphin hook with a half ounce weight and you're going to have some copper wire you just go around the eye of the hook so it holds in place but before we even get started with that we have to prep our ballyhoo for it to swim right the whole purpose of rigging a ballyhoo is uh to make him swim natural because uh with any kind of fishing, you take your bait and you try to make that bait look as if it's alive. You know, you know if the dolphin are feeding on flying fish, um, usually um, a rigged ballyhoo is the closest thing that comes to a, a flying fish out there in uh, the offshore. So we're going to rig up a ballyhoo to simulate a flying fish. And the way you do that is the first thing, if you notice, is the fish is long and skinny he's got a uh, spine that runs all the way down his back and you can break this with your two thumbs you just you can actually see that bone pop out of place right there and after that is the gross part but fun part for some people is you got to get the doo-doo out of them and to do that you just take your thumb and you just run it down and now all that good stuff comes right out of there and usually you don't want to get it on your boat so you might want to hang over the side and get that stuff out of there. That's going to really make him swim better. It's really, it's kind of gross, but gross is not a fishing word. So now we got the ballyhoo with his spine broke and he's ready to go. I'm going to take his beak and I'm going to break it off about midway. And I don't just break it off, but I peel it off. And there's a reason for that. You notice that little piece of skin comes off with it there's a reason for that I'm going to show you in just a second you're going to take your hook and you're going to go behind the ballyhoo. here you're going to go right into his gill plate just like that and you're going to get in there and go all the way up with him as far as you can and you come right out the middle Then I've got my copper wire, I just go behind his gill plate, and I'm going to come around the other side, and I'm going to go behind the other gill plate. I'm going to go through his eye socket, come out the other side, and I'm not going to pull this down all the way tight, and there's a reason for that, I'm going to follow up with my weight. And I want to put that weight right in the center there. I'm going to come back around the copper wire in front of the weight through the same hole in the eye socket. I'm going to push down on that weight, and as I'm pushing down, I'm going to pull down with the copper wire. Now, I've got the copper wire, I'm going to go through his beak, out the center of his mouth. And remember that piece of skin that came off that beak, that line is going to lay directly right into that piece of skin that came off. And this first wrap, you're going to go over the top come back around and you want that mouth to be shut and the whole purpose of that mouth being shut is so when you're dragging that bait through the water the water will wash that bait out if you don't close his mouth up and you just keep wrapping that copper and go all the way to the very end of the line and this is what you end up with if you take it and wash the scales off that you've fell off and that's what you end up with and this weight is actually going to pull this ballyhoo down and what he'll do is he'll swim and then he'll skip he'll swim and then he'll skip 
that's your basic uh, way to rig up a ballyhoo with a weight into the ballyhoo.